Church house, gin house, schoolhouse, outhouse. On highway number 19, the people keep the city clean. They call it Nut Bush. Oh, Nut Bush. Nut Bush City. Nut Bush City. The speed limit Motorcycle not allowed in it Go to store on Friday Go to church on Sundays They call it Nut Bush Oh, Nut Bush Nut Bush City Nut Bush City Picnic on Labor Day Go to town on Saturday Go to church every Sunday In that bush Oh, that bush That bush city That bush city anyway. No whiskey for sale you get caught, no bail. So poor camel asses is all you get in jail in the It's a one horse town. You have to watch what you're putting down in that bush. Oh, that bush. That bush city. That bush city. Thank you, friends, so much for joining us for another Sugar Lime Blue Sunday shout out. This Sunday shout out is in honor of the passing of Tina Turner. So, Tina Turner. another great leaves this corporeal form. Yes. And we appreciate all that she added to our musical past. So, yes. Tina and all your fans, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see everybody next Indeed. week with another Sugar Lime Blue Sunday shout out. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you next week. Shout out. Shout out. They say, take that house and burn it down. So, Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Yeah, um, interesting week that, of course, she passed this week. Yes. In the same week that we were playing at the Tina Turner Museum. Yes. In Brownsville, Tennessee. Yep. Um, I didn't know she was born in Brownsville, Tennessee. Well, one would think it. Was not Bush, which technically it was. Yeah, I didn't know. Like, so I've heard the song, of course, by Bob Seger mm -hmm. and uh, also by Tina Turner. I had only heard the Bob Seger version until very recently. Yes. It's interesting because I didn't know that the song was semi autobiographical. It's a tough word. It's, it's difficult. Yeah. Semi. Semi autobiographical. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I guess, and I didn't know she was from Tennessee. So, you know, you learn something new kind of every day, I guess. Yeah. Um, excited to play her museum, though, on Saturday. Yeah. It should be a memorable. Rem wow. We're both just marveling the words. Tied. 
memorable event. Memorable I said event. rememberable. 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 That should be, that be a also. thing. Of rememberable course, should be a it should word. Should be a rememberable yeah. event. <laughs> <laughs> Semi <Semi-obdata> updated <rappel. laughs> apple. So, so wow. recording the shout out. Yes. Yeah. Well, for those of you who don't understand or who haven't been let in on the behind the scenes process of some of our shout outs, yes. um, we are pre recording a shout out that you receive on Sunday morning. So we set it up, we pre record it during the week because most weekends we're on the road playing live shows. So we're not able to record it right right when it's time for it to come out for you guys. The next so, five or six, I think, we're going to be on the road. Yeah, we're going to be on the road a lot coming up soon, which we're very excited about because we have the opportunity to meet you guys in person, which is yeah. super fun. And live shows with the full band especially are so much fun. A place where the music has a chance to grow and breathe and become what it's going to be in person. So we have a great time. But... All that to say, we pre-record these so that you can have your content on Sunday morning, and it's kind of a ritual sort of thing for a lot of people, which Mm -hmm. we appreciate. So we try to... And us when we're in town. Yeah, we try to honor our commitment to have a Sunday shout-out, even if we're recording it on Wednesday or a Friday or a Monday. For you, it's for Sunday. So... When you receive this, we will have already played the Tina Turner Museum in Brownsville, Tennessee. That's on Saturday. And we will be on our way to Turtle Bay, Kentucky to play a gig up there. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun this weekend. It'll be a good travel. Yeah. So. Just so you have a little behind the scenes knowledge. Back to Tina Turner, though. Tina. Because I find her, um, well, I grew up in the MTV era. Mm Mm-hmm. So very much like the visual thing, and um, I wasn't familiar with much of her work, especially with Ike, you know, in yeah, the early days. The early or, um, you know, I didn't know Tina Turner, and then I found out later. I think just recently, you told me she didn't have her first number one hit till so she was forty four. Right. So yeah. that's like amazing. It's inspiring. It actually is. It is. And a lot of her her previous life with Ike. Um, like, I'm still learning. I don't have uh, in-depth research. A lot of you probably know better than I. But she, it was an abusive relationship with Ike. Yeah, and we, I knew but that. But they had a yes. review. So they were putting out lots of music and, and meeting lots of musicians and uh, writing music. And, and they were very enmeshed in that way. And when she decided, she made the decision to leave, she left her whole life her whole life, all of music and everything. She was prepared to leave everything. She had 36 cents in her pocket and she left not knowing where her next meal was going to come from or where she was going to lay her head that night. But she left and within, I think it was three or four years, she was hitting that number one. Well, it checks out for me because I remember I was pretty small when I first saw her on TV. And when I saw her perform, I remember it was like a live show. And I don't know how to describe her other than fierce and larger than life. I think fierce is a great and adjective for her. She kind of like educated to me to the way to the, I only knew my mom, you know, and then maybe like some other girls from school, you know, but the way she acted and the way she portrayed herself, I was like, that's not even a woman. That's like a lioness or a tigress or something. Like, it's like she was so very strong, so strong, fierce, yeah, and just so like commanding. Of yeah, attention and her presence yeah. was so commanding. I was just like, I was bowled over. Really, I you know I never was really a huge fan of her music, but she definitely made me pay attention. Yeah, you know? I, I was like, I, th- I'm re- I think really she's... to this day, I was always impressed by her stage presence yes. and her persona. I think her commanding. show, I think she was another one of those acts that really, her live show was where it was at for her. The recording was a snapshot that you could sure. take to- a home of the memory of having been at a show because she Gave her gives all. a show. She did. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think we actually did one other... Tina Turner song. Do you yes. remember it? Yeah. River Deep Mountain High. We did. Uh-huh. That was one a long time back. Yep. And yeah. uh, I think, you know, I went through that little phase where we really listened to that song a lot. And then we we're did, like, we're yeah. going to do a shout out of this song. Yeah. So we did. And that's yeah. out there for you guys to check out if you have the time. You can go back through the back catalog and check out River Deep Mountain High and let us know what you think. But yeah. 
Did you know that she didn't like her voice to begin with? Really? Yeah, she thought it was deep and more masculine, and uh, she was in a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say intimidated, because that's the wrong word, but she... Guarded. Guarded. She didn't enjoy the sound of her own voice for a long time, and then she learned she could compete with the men's music world because she could command the same range that the men could. Nice. So she actually said that, uh, was it Little Richie? I don't know. I, I listened to an interview that was really compelling of hers, but she was saying that some of the men in the community, in the musical community, were like, we, we can't compete with Tina Turner because she can sing like that and she dances. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what, she does, too. She like, does. she does not quit moving. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> I saw, uh, there was a video of, on YouTube of her, like, in her 70s. Like, yeah, just still, still crushing it. Yeah, still I mean, it. It crushing it. Yeah. In heels. Yes. <laughs> like my girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I have a lot of respect for her, like, coming up and and going through what she did and making hard decisions for her life and then persevering and I'm better for it. Yeah. And also, uh, one of, I, I listened to a couple of interviews this, this last week. And one of the ones was, I think it was about six years ago. She was living in Switzerland with her husband and, uh, she had retired and said that she was done that she really appreciated her time in the music industry and like if people wanted to see her they'd go look at her videos because she's yeah. like she's retired so right. a lot of funny. respect there <laughs>